Hello, boys and girls. It's Auntie Mimi here. And today I've got another story for you. Our book today is called The Midnight Fairies. Wow, it sounds lovely, doesn't it? A story of fairies, magic and a very special necklace. So you're ready, boys and girls. Get comfortable, sit back and let's begin. Megan was staying with Grandma for a few days while Mum was away. Megan always had fun at Grandma's. At the bottom of Grandma's garden, there was a big old oak tree with a swing where Megan loved to play. On the second night of Megan's visit, as she was getting ready for bed, Megan realised that she'd lost her pretty flower necklace. Megan and Grandma looked everywhere, but they couldn't find it. Megan began to cry. Mum gave me that necklace, she said tearfully. It's really special. Grandma gave Megan a hug. Don't worry, we'll look in the garden tomorrow, she promised. I'm sure it will be there. Megan settled down to sleep, but she tossed and turned and finally woke up again. She couldn't stop thinking about her lost necklace. Getting out of bed, she went to look out at the garden where she hoped she might see it. Somewhere in the distance, a clock chimed once, twice, Twelve times, midnight, Megan thought. Suddenly, Megan's eyes opened wide. At the bottom of the moonlit garden, where the wild flowers grew, lights began to wink and twinkle, and shimmering shapes seemed to dance in the air. Fairies had come out to play. There was a firefly, a little red-haired fairy, moon blossom, a fairy with hair like finely spun silk, nightingale, a fairy with cheeks like rose petals, and stardust, a fairy with glimmering pink wings. Together, the four fairies danced and skipped through the air, laughing as they flitted from flower to flower. All at once, Firefly spotted something, a silver necklace gleaming in the grass. Look, she says to her friends, I wonder who this belongs to. Maybe it's that little girl, said Nightingale pointing up to the window where Megan was looking out. She looks very sad, as if she's lost something special. I wish we could make her smile again, said Moon Blossom. The fairies looked at one another and knew they were all thinking the same thing. Firstly, they took the necklace safely behind a stone. Then together, they flew across the garden and straight up to Megan's window. As Megan gasped with amazement and delight, Stardust sprinkled her with glittering fairy dust. Now you'll be able to fly with us, the fairy said happily. With a fairy holding each hand, Megan whooshed out of the window and flew down to the bottom of the garden. When they landed, Stardust introduced herself and her friends. We are the Midnight Fairies, she explained. Every night at midnight, we come out to dance and play in the moonlight. Will you be our friend and play with us tonight? Of course I will, said Megan happily. 
with the moon beaming down and the friendly stars twinkling above, Megan and the fairies danced among the wild flowers. The cool grass tickled Megan's toes and the fairies' laughter sounded like tiny crystal bells. Megan laughed with them and felt happier than she ever had before. When Megan was too tired to dance anymore, Firefly said, We have a surprise for you. And she brought out Megan's silver necklace. My necklace, cried Megan. You found it. Oh, thank you. As Firefly gave the necklace back, Stardust sprinkled magic fairy dust over it. A beautiful fairy appeared in place of the flower. Oh, breathed Megan, it's you. It's a midnight fairy. Yes, said Firefly, but please don't tell anyone how it got there or we might lose our magic. I promise, replied Megan. As she put on the necklace, Megan realised that she could barely keep her eyes open. With the midnight fairies fluttering over her, she curled up under the oak tree and fell asleep until the morning. When she woke up, tucked up in her cosy bed in Grandma's house. How did I get back here? Megan wondered. Was it just a dream? She reached up to her neck and there was her necklace, right where it should be. Hello, said Grandma cheerfully, opening the bedroom door. Grandma, look, said Megan. I have my necklace back. Did you find it? No, dear, said Grandma with a puzzled look. She peered down at the necklace. Oh, how lovely, she said. I hadn't noticed the fairy before. The midnight fairies, Megan thought to herself. So it wasn't a dream after all. I wonder how your necklace got back here, said Grandma, scratching her head. Megan, smiling as she looked out towards the garden, knew the answer. But it was a secret that belonged to her, to her and the midnight fairies, the wonderful, magical friends she would never, ever forget. Well, that was a wonderful story today, wasn't it, boys and girls? I hope you enjoyed it as much as I did. Have you ever seen any little fairies? Well, next time you're in a beautiful garden... Look round and if you see any little twinkling lights, it's probably the fairies that have come out for a little dance and a play. Anyway, boys and girls, as always, I want you to look after one another. I want you to be kind to one another. And I want you to try to be happy every single day. Until next time, bye-bye.